You know, folks, I've been, I've been selling coins for 40 years, basically, professionally. Uh, I've been collecting coins for over a half century uh, myself. And for the first of the for the first 35 or 40 of those years of collecting, 45 of those years of collecting, the coin collecting, the, the coin market doesn't change a lot. You know, the government puts out a few new things, and you know, everybody does that, and everybody collects kind of some of the old stuff and some of the new stuff, and it's it, you know, it was pretty moribund at the best. 1999, the state quarters come out, everybody gets excited, people start collecting. And, and it adds a little more excitement to the market. But then, you know, the Silver Eagle comes out. But all of that pales into comparison with what has happened in the last two years, basically. Almost a year and a half, but really two years. The coin market, coin collecting, has changed more in the last 18 months to two years than it has in the prior 50 years. And I've been in it all of those years. It is, there is an absolute sea change of what is happening in the marketplace. And it's been building really from about 1999 when they released the state quarters. And it's been building and building and building. And then they, and you know, the Silver Eagle starts coming in and they're changing the Silver Eagle and they're doing the special design Silver Eagles. And, and then the Mint is getting more active and it's just building and building and building and building. And the crescendo right now is, is, is right now. And so what this has created is in the coin market things that we've never seen. And, and it's not a temporary thing. I think we're looking at absolutely positively permanent changes in the coin market and in coin collecting. In the whole 40 years that I've been a, a dealer and I've been on television over a quarter century, the mint sets have always been a mainstay, as have Proust sets. And there have always been a, a good availability of mint sets out there. The government made a fair number of them. Uh, and so mint sets were always kind of a staple, as were proof sets. But what has happened over the last, certainly in mint sets over the last year, 18 months, is they have just disappeared from the marketplace. And I mean, I feel like it's a permanent a permanent issue. So many, we have so many more collectors. And understand, none of this stuff has been made in almost 20 years, and in some instances, 50 years. So there's no new supply. We have more collectors. We have more demand. We have more desirability. We have more people collecting the new stuff and going back and collecting. And there's just, it, I don't care if it's Silver Eagles. I don't care, I don't care what it is. There's not enough coins. And in collecting that's a problem, and that's what we have with this mint set. I've, I've sold these for years and years. I have not done a full presentation of these. I've not been able to do a full presentation of these for years. Because what has happened is it has been almost impossible for us to put these sets together. Now, let me first of all explain to you what a mint set is. You know, and that, look, I understand Silver Eagles kind of take all the oxygen in the room. But the mint sets, the United States government has been making these for uh, well over a half century. They basically take the business strike coins, all the coins from the Philadelphia Mint, Denver Mint, and or San Francisco Mint, if they make mint state coins, and put them into one package that you see right here and put it out there. It's called a mint set. It's all the uncirculated coins made by the United States Mint. It's all the uncirculated coins made by the United States Mint and put into a package. Now, from 2000, I think it's 2006 on, they started doing kind of a special satin finish. It's a slightly different finish coin, which makes it even rarer, even more desirable, even more collector collectible and and so that's you know uh, all part of what we we have here we have about three years of that really started in 06 and 07 so where we start is 1965 where we start is 1965 and those are the bonus years the united states government didn't technically make min sets in 1965 66 and 67 and they didn't make proof sets either they were kind of moving the proof making capacity of the u.s mint from the philadelphia mint to the san francisco mint so they didn't make any proof sets there were some things going on that, that coinage wasn't as necessary so the united states treasury made these special mint sets and we start with those so we have the 65 66 and 67 the kennedys in that are 40 percent 
percent silver. We've got special finishes on all of those coins. And then we go, when we start the mint sets right here, from the Philadelphia Mint and the Denver Mint, you see they have these little things in there that say Denver Mint and Philadelphia Mint. So you get two packages in each and every one of these because you get all the P's and all the D's. So it's basically every penny, nickel, dime, quarter, half dollar, and dollar from 1965, okay, from 1965 until 2008. It's 500, look at this, 548 coins. So less than a dollar a coin. Less than a dollar a coin. Now here's the amazing part of this. And this is why I can't find these coins. Is because these coins, when you want to buy an uncirculated set of Lincoln cents or Jefferson nickels or Roosevelt dimes or Washington quarters or Kennedy half dollars, it doesn't matter what it is, those coins tend to come out of here because they're in original government packaging. The government made a fair amount of these, but these have been opened up literally by the millions over the years. So coins that still remain, that still remain in their original condition, uh, uh, that come out of these. These mints are almost possible. So here we have. So we have 41 years at $499.95. We're about, what is that, 11, 12 bucks a year, roughly. $12 a year. Now remember, in each one of these years, there's two sets. So, you know, you have this. So this is, let me see which year this is. I'm going to try to do this without knocking them all over. These are 03s. I'll pick those up in a minute. And so you're going to have the regular coins. You get all the Philadelphia Minute Quarters, all the Denver Minute Quarters, the Philadelphia Minute Kennedy Half Dollar, the Denver Minute Kennedy Half Dollar. You've got all of that. And I just wanted to show you that so that you can see this is one half of one year set. So at $12 a piece, this is $3 and this is $3. But the problem is, is the coins are worth so much more than that that that's why you can't find these sets. And that's what I really want to address. And, and so it's just not only as an overall thing you can't find the sets, but it's because the value. I mean, we're $499 in every single one of these in their original, in their original government packaging. And so I went in, and so this is what happens. Okay, I went to a nationally advertised catalog and went in there and bought every one of these coins basically individually. Okay, bought every one of these coins individually. And so from an individual basis, we take all the Lincoln cents, and all the Lincoln cents, literally coin by coin by coin, almost 100 coins of each one of those, is 100 bucks for the pennies. Now remember, there are going to be 82 pennies in this. So we are less than a dollar a coin, and the pennies are more than a dollar a coin. The pennies are more than a dollar a coin, and we're a dollar a coin across the board. The dimes are $157. $157. They're more than a dollar a coin. And then you're going to have the, uh, the, the nickels, okay, are $170 for the nickels. They're going to be more. Than, so that's the low end. So if you take the pennies, the nickels, and the dimes, you're just about $499.95. Now from there, I mean, it gets crazy. I mean, it's insane. So if you take then... From there, now here's the problem. I, I tried to find every single one of these coins. I'm missing about 50 coins that I couldn't find a price for. And I'll discuss those here in a minute. Let's look at the quarters. So remember, we're $499. Every P, every D, and every S uncirculated coin, there's some S uncirculated in there, made by the United States Mint that go into a mint set from 1965 to 2008. The quarters in here alone. And there are no 2008 quarters. As a matter of fact, there's no 2008 quarters in any, in any of these coins. You cannot find these coins individually. I'll address those here in a bit. The quarters by themselves, the quarters by themselves, coin by coin, $848.90 for the quarters. Because it's just not a complete set of the state quarters from 99 through 2008. It is all before that. So we're 848. So add that in to the pennies, the nickels, the Times, we're about $1,200. We're over two and a half times the price. But then let's look at the Kennedy half dollars, which everybody wants, right? And the only way to get a lot of these Kennedy half dollars in this original, brilliant, uncirculated condition is going to be what? Out of these sets. Now remember, I have the Kennedy half dollars. I don't have the 2008s in there because they're not listed anywhere. The Kennedy half dollars alone, $751. 
If you add these, the 2008 Kennedys, when you can find them, about $30 a piece. So we're over $800 for the Kennedys. With the quarters, we're over $900 with the quarters. So we're $1,700. We're over $2,000. We are well over $2,000, and we're only up to the half dollars. Keep in mind, you have all of the Eisenhower silver dollars, 73 P and D, 74 P and D. Remember 75 is bicentennial. Type 1 and Type 2, there are four bicentennial coins in there. I couldn't find any Type 2 bicentennials, by the way. So if you look at every single solitary one of those, then you're going to have 79, 80, and 81 Susan B. Anthony's. Those are P, D, and S, by the way. And then let's go ahead and add the Sacagawea Golden Dollars from 2000 through 2007, because, of course, they don't list the 2008s, and add up those. That's another $428. We are basically $2,500 plus. So we are 80% off the retail value, and you get them in the original government packaging. Now, I want to circle back around in all of that. So you're getting $2,500 worth of coins individually priced for $499, all in their original government packaging. And I can't find any of these coins individually. Those 2008 coins are almost impossible. So let's look at that. So we have the presidential dollars, all the P's and all the D's. Those are going to average, if you can find them, when I do find them, $16.5 a piece. There's 10 of those uh, with the Sacagawea. There's four presidentials in the Sacagawea for the 2008. So those are going to be, third, that's another $160. The Kennedys at $30 a piece. The quarters are going to be about $7.95, and there's going to be 10 of those. 70. This set alone, coin by coin, is about $250 and is not even included in any of the stuff. That's half the value on a coin by coin basis just for the 2008s that you're going to have. So you add all that together, we're 25, 26, 27, 2800. Look, anything over $499 is a bonus for you. More importantly, that's just the price in the catalog. That does not guarantee the fact that you go get coins that are, I'm going to try to do this, I could explode the entire thing, folks, that are absolutely, look at this. These were sealed by the United States Mint, 1989. These are the Denver Minted coins. They are gorgeous. They are perfect. They are 100% original. Every one of them gem brilliant uncirculated because they're in the original package as the mint put them starting in 1965. I mean, that is crucially and critically important for you. There are also little tiny bonuses in here. I want to go way over here. In 1996, as a special deal, okay, the United States Mint, when they made the mint set, as a special beginning of the Roosevelt dime, the 50th anniversary, they did a Roosevelt dime at the West Point Mint. It was the first regular issue coin made by the United States Mint with a W or West Point Mint mark. That coin only comes in a mint set, and our sets include them. So many times when you buy a 96 mint set, that coin's not included. That's another $20 or $25 in the package. Certified, you know, top-end certification, they can run $100, $200, even $300. So we include the 96W in there. So you've got that little bit of stuff. So the fact of the matter is, is ultimately what this comes down to is this fantastic opportunity to buy coins like a coin dealer. And that's why you can't find these sets. That's why you can't find these coins. And, and, and therein lies the problem. So like, for instance, at a dollar a coin, the Kennedy half dollar, the 65 Kennedy, 2450, 2450, 2450, 2450, 2450, the, the 1970, 5650. Remember, you're paying a dollar a coin. That's a hundred, that's two hundred dollars in eight Kennedy half dollars. And if you just start looking at these Kennedy half dollars, as you go towards the end, like I said, you can't even find there's no 07s or 08s in there. These are all eight, nine, ten, twelve. $13, $14 a coin across the board all the way through that. Some of them, $23, $24, $25. There's $28.50 uh, uh, for some of these coins. And so therein lies your problem. You can't find the coins individually. And the reason is, is all these mint sets have been cut up. 
And remember, for every year you get all the P's and all the D's, and you get them in the original government packaging. So here, for instance, is the 2008. They did a very special package for that. So this is the 2008 set that you pay $12 for. I don't know. Maybe the pennies or the nickels you can buy in that set that are going to be less than $12. These are not less than $12. None of the dollars are worth less than $12. The Kennedys aren't worth less than $12. I don't think the quarters are worth less than $12. So you're going to get all of those coins in there. One of the largest sets, so 5, 10, 14, 28 coins, 28 coins that you're getting for basically $12. You're getting for basically $12, but coin by coin, those 28 coins are probably 258, 250 to 300 dollars on a coin by coin basis if you can find them. And that's why we can't find these sets. Because dealers buy those sets and they open them up and they sell the coins because everybody wants uncirculated sets. I'm just a Kennedy collector. I'm just a Lincoln collector. I'm just a Jefferson or a Roosevelt collector. I only collect Eisenhower dollars. I only collect Susan B. Anthony dollars. I only collect this. I only collect that. And the only way to get kind of a guaranteed gem brilliant uncirculated is when you can pull them out of the mint sets. And for years and years and years and all the years I've been in the business, that's what people did. They bought the mint sets. I'm putting together Kennedy sets. What do you know? Well, I'm going to buy you know, 2,000 mint sets, open them up, and make those. Well, 2,000 here, 5,000 there, 10,000 there, 20,000 there. Before you know it, there's no mint sets left. And that's where we're at. And it's not just mint sets. It's mint sets. It's proof sets. All these vintage coins. We are just running out of vintage coins. They are simply not available. I hear it from every corner of the marketplace. The coin collecting market has fundamentally changed, folks. It has fundamentally changed. And all this stuff that we've collected for decades has disappeared. And, and with this, it's not just it's already in the collections of additional collectors, but these sets have literally been destroyed by collectors year after year because you want the Kennedy half dollars. And so, like I said, we're $4.99. The Kennedys are $800. we are $4.99. The quarters are $900, coin by coin. We're $4.99, and the, uh, uh, the dollar coins are $500. So any one of these, the quarters, the half dollars or the dollars, all of them well in excess of the $499 you're getting for all those. And we insist that you take the pennies, the nickels, and the dimes, which are about $400, actually a little over $400 for those. So any way you slice this, the opportunity is unique. And in the past, I've been able to get coins, but here's the thing again. I have got an incredibly limited number of sets Once I, that I've spent, I don't know, 14 months putting together. This used to be I could get, make a phone call and almost get as many as I wanted. Those days are over. Now is the time. We have got a fundamental change in the coin uh, market that not everybody knows about, but you've got the inside information. You know things that even most coin dealers don't know. And I can tell you because our reach is so, so broad is the fact that these sets are simply not available in the marketplace. So I, like I said, I've not been able to make a full presentation on these in, in a couple of years. I finally have enough sets to do this presentation, but let me understand, uh, let you understand that this is not an opportunity that will last forever. This is one of those things is these sets have disappeared. This is the end of an era. Get in right here, right now. While they're not just incredibly affordable, almost $2,700 worth of coins for $4.99, but they're available. And availability is the key. The value at over 80, 85% off is spectacular. But we've got the sets. They're in stock. They're ready to ship. Own all of these sets. 41 years of United States Mint sets. Call and get yours today.